Hello, I am the Convolutional Neural Gamer, and this is AI War. Just we are just making final preparations for uh, a, uh, hopefully a major assault on the AI homeworld that will actually really take out some substantial systems. Um, I can't afford to wait. These uh, exogalactic attacks are going to completely destroy me if I don't kill the AI homeworld in the very near future. Um, the Wrath Lance is down. I have still got to take out a quite a lot of spits and pieces all over the place, but with any luck I'll be able to do substantial damage in the next assault. The trick is the AI is still going to spawn its enormous strategic reserve every uh, every attack, and I am going to struggle to deal with like I'm like I'm going to struggle to deal with that. Basically, I have to avoid that. I can't kill it. That means I've got to stay ahead of the AI and take out all these nasty things it's got scattered around here. How well I can do, I'm not certain. Without the Wrath Lance, I have a chance, but I'll have to see how much damage I can do and how quickly. Uh, I am hoping I can take out a good chunk of the remaining guard posts here because I can't, I can't do tons of. Uh, I can't retreat too many times. I have to actually do real damage real, really quickly. Um, my power is getting low, so I'm going to have to build more matter converters. Oh, maximum number on this planet. That's annoying. Uh, I'll put it with the Zenith because if I lose that, I've lost the game anyway. So, so we'll build a couple more of these. Um. I have an excess of remains rebuilders on this planet. Get rid of those. Good, good. Uh, you're coming in. Now, this is an interesting... This gives me interesting options. I could try to distract some of the AI's uh, strategic reserve by having this kill it on Dure. Of course, that will cause more Exos to spawn and attack me, which would be bad. So... Yeah, it's still a bit of a question what I need to do there. Uh, it takes a long, long time to rebuild a fleet from that low. And it takes a long time to rebuild these, apparently. Hang on. I have to go... Controls, planet specific. It's just not what it builds many Mark 1s. I'll save the Mark 1s for elsewhere. No, I just want Mark 1s. Okay, so now the Mark 1s can come over here and quickly build these because I need them right now. An annoyingly long time to build for something that you want to build instantly. But the problem is they, they decided that they did, it's not a fun mechanic or something. If you can, if it's like they're done automatically and they can be turned off, so you can't turn them off, so you just build tons of them, it's a real pain in the ass. You swear you could just build a ton of them and the system would automatically handle it and you wouldn't have to care about them at all. And that was that was better. That was just better, honestly. I don't like okay. I mean yeah, it's a good like it's a resource thing, you have to choose how many resources you're willing to sacrifice to um producing power, but God <laughs> It costs, yeah, it's where most of your money goes most of the time. Okay, so I need to pull out everything that I don't want to have murdered. I really should pull out these guys too, and obviously these guys. That's a lot of my firepower, I think. But these guys have to sit back. Oh, actually, no, wait, what am I doing? These guys and these guys actually can join the assault this time, because they are not starships. They cannot be attacked by... Um, the uh, anti-starship weapons. Uh, I also need to move you out. You guys can't join in. And then the rest of these guys can jump in these transports over here and uh, begin to make uh, begin to get ready for the assault. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should have like a separate transport that just has all the crazy things around it. Have a separate transport? Apparently, I've used all. Oh no, I have one more transport. So yeah, you can you can sit here ready to you can be like my number two, ready to bring in all the heavy bring in the heavy heavy stuff when um 
when my main fleet's done its job. Okay, we're gonna have a save. This may take a few shots. I'm, you know, I I save scum. It's a thing I do. Uh, I know some people really disapprove of that, but this is a thing I do, and um, in these situ this situation, I definitely have to do it. So, you are gonna pause and just sit around here, ready to jump in. Um, you guys are. I didn't ask you to do that. You guys are going to dive in straight to the end of the base. Okay, two. Go over there. One. Up here. Okay, jump in. Okay, first thing, you need to take out the orbital mass driver. Now, this increased speed that the enemy has is really a pain, but um, there's not much I can do about it. So there we go. That's that done. So I can actually bring in number two now. The AI hasn't deployed a strategic reserve yet, which is really nice. Please be slow on that. I love it when you're slow on that. Okay. Um, priorities. Um, engine damage... Paralyzing tractor beams. That seems bad. Core raid engine, obviously incredibly annoying. I could probably take that out trivially. This guy should die first, though, I think, because he'll do lots of damage. Yeah, there we go. Kill this guy. Okay. So, yeah, there's their um, death army coming in. I'm going to see how much I can take out just with transports, mostly. Okay, we can kill, kill this thing. Okay, those guys are going to die, unfortunately. Um, okay, so this thing is firing that thing. 5,000 damage, long range, two second shot. It's got a ton of health because of that force field sitting over it. Uh, this is an invisible spawner. It's not defended. This guy can be taken out nice and easy. So that's a good high priority target. Um... I'd like to take out this guy as well, as well as the iron cannons uh, that are scattered around the planet. Start making this, making this be more even fight. Hundred seventy six. Oh, the barracks deployed units. Did I shit the barracks? That's not what I intended to do. Basically, when I lose too much stuff, I'm going to have to deploy and fight. Um, we'll see what I can do. <sighs> the problem is, that's 2,000 Mark V ships. Nothing I have could possibly fight that. Um, this planet has planetary attack on, so I can't hide, do, uh, which I might do otherwise. I'm thinking this is a good point to retreat, to be honest. I think it's time to try to work my way around this AI horde and retreat out of here as much as possible. As long as I don't lose the um, one with the big stuff in it. Oh, damn it! They're like the continuous line is like impossible to get through. Uh, okay. Okay, so the, all those guys are just dead. Um, they're, like, very dead. Um, because they're just, they're gonna walk in there, they're gonna hit the freaking Exodian Blade, and that's it, the end of them. Okay. Okay, so yeah. You guys get through. Um, we'll heal you up. Uh, I've lost a few things, but not too many things. Just move up and kill that stuff. I don't want you to. Um, I can build a new one of these. And overall, I think that was a successful attack. So I'll give that a save. We'll keep that. <laughs> uh, right. Promise, these guys have force fields now. I can go in and take out the warhead interceptor. That I 
Okay, Mach 5 full sealed. Okay, so here's the here's the deal. One of the more dramatic options available to the player is the nuke. Um, if I build the nuke, I can kill. I can. I won't kill much. Okay, if we look at this nuke, uh, 50 AI progress to kill boss crap, which is obviously just stupidly ridiculous. Um, however, causes a planet-wide nuclear explosion. Now, destroys all resources and most ships on the planet. Does not affect Mark V ships and Trans starships. All the big, all the basically all the stuff on the our home worlds are uh, not destroyed, but causes supply to be permanently lost for all teams on that planet. Meaning, you this this is a big deal because if it, supply is permanently lost, force field for. Uh, Force fields require a supply, fortresses require supply. So that means I would turn off these two force fields, this fortress, this force field, and this force field. Now you saw how easily just then I was able to take out these guys that were not under the force field. It's not going to be so easy for the ones that are under a force field. So that's a huge deal. Um, probably want to just send this guy through Dure and pick up those guys, even though it's going to cause an extra egg, so... Um, yeah, yeah. So that's a, that's a, that's a huge benefit, um, and it's probably honestly worth it to use a nuke in this situation. I just have to get it through there, which requires a... requires that I have a closed starship over here, which is I want them hiding these nukes. These are warheads over here. But these warheads are going to have to sit under the force field here for a while. I doubt the, the much is going to come and hit the actual home world there. So uh, we're going to delete the cloaker. And those guys are going to work uncloaked for a little while. You are going to then build the cloak. First starship. Um. Okay, done. Get rid of that. There we go. You go here. You are going to build me a nuke. 150,000. It's actually not that expensive, surprisingly enough. But, um, yeah. And this is going to be an unusual tactic. I, I, like, never use nukes normally, but, um, I think in this situation, when I have, I'm in such a hurry, and I'm hoping that this is the only AIO world I have to take out, maybe worth it. Maybe worth it. No? Uh, I need to need to cloak. Are you kidding? Or are you doing something with him? You, he's probably cloaking something else. Yeah, there we go, he's cloaked up. Good, good. Okay, Dure. You go through that wormhole, take out this guard of doom ships that are just popping up here, being vain. All the stuff I've aggravated on the AI home world. Oh, he does take a little while to kill everyone. This much shit. Okay, this will be a normal lot of. Yeah, I, I best to get him off here so they stop this um, extra fast from breaking. There we go, 34 seconds again now. Do I have any scouts here? I don't have any, do I? Uh, if I ever have spare money, I might consider repairing him, but for now, I think the money has more important uses. Don't shoot at them at the moment. Uh... Pre-nuke. 
let's just create a save in case this proves to be a poor decision. Though of course they don't have a freaking nuke that's being built that I can't get rid of. In the enforcer. Um get through. Okay, we're we'll clear. Now I can't even in nuke, I can't use on the home world until I have actually taken out that uh, one thing. But I should be able to do that really quick. A nice little snipe raid. Um, like I did on the orbital mass driver. Then it's straight back. In and out. God, I hate that. Just like, it just ends up going out of the um, cloak somehow and they just instantly kill it in the wrong place. So you just, you know, it's just RNG basically. It's just strange the way it works. Maybe I misclicked and told it to go um, not in group move or something. I don't know, it's possible. I don't think Duray has any, like, special stuff to prevent me, me like, that would um, cause problems here. Well, there we go. Iron cannons can see invisible nukes because reasons. And apparently can even shoot them. That's new! Ugh. That is definitely news to me. Um, oh well, doesn't matter. I will uh, go ahead and take out those iron cannons, hey? Not a serious problem. Okay, take out that. Through here, take out the Warhead Interceptor. I don't need to take out the Iron Cannon because it doesn't matter where the nuke explodes on this planet, just that it explodes. In and out. out. Okay, let's do another pre-nuke here. This time, this time doing it right. <laughs> I don't really need one or two. Did one of them die? No, I only have nine though. Just walk through. Walt sign in. It'll be fine. Introduce yourself. <laughs> uh, exogalactic attack. That means the exogalactic attack has come in. And off they go. At least the raid engine's dead. That's always nice. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot. I'm at the AI progress floor right now. Um, so it may not actually get another 50 AO progress, I'll have to see. We'll nuke the planet this time, and then, uh, move on with the assault next time. And here we are. The Iron Cannon can see the invisible nuke. Oh no, it's actually a visible nuke in this case. Uh, can you leave in time? Nope. Boom! Oh yeah, that mark for um, a scout is not immune to nuclear bombs. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Go take a look. Um, 
Okay, post nuke. Done. Okay, so next time I will see if I can finish off this AI homeworld in the post nuke environment. And yeah, I did only get like 30 AI progress. I don't think that nuke's actually gonna make any difference after the AI progress wall from the other guard post. So, I've been the Convolutional Neural Gamer. This has been AI War. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.